Back to Good Day Kentucky, Troy Thompson out here at the holiday shopping day at Wells Plastic Surgery and Skincare. But I decided to duck into one of my favourite rooms and also one of my favourite people here at Wells Plastic Surgery. Rachel, how are you, my friend? I'm great, Troy. <laughs> how are you? I'm great because, you know, I love everyone to have a fuller lip. Yes. Why is that so important, do you think? Well, the lips, when there's not a lot of volume, it can be very aging. And also in the world of the Kardashian and Jenners, <laughs> it's become a big thing. And I want everyone to know at home as well that it's not just for women. A no. lot of men are having this done now. Yes. And it's not about having a big lip on a man. It's just reshaping. Absolutely. It is reshaping. And men have the same issues too. As they age, the lip thins out. And I am starting to see a larger audience of men come in. We love that. So let's talk about what you would normally do on our patient here, who we just pulled, plucked from the audience. <laughs> <laughs> so talk to me about what we see, and because mm -hmm. we've got no injectables on here. No, no. so Lucy here has no injectables. Um, Lucy actually has great shaped lips already, but if Lucy's looking for some subtle volume, which is what she would desire, I would go in, I would bring a little bit more pout down here, oh. and I would even also enhance her Cupid's bow. Another thing that we see in women as they age, not necessarily in Lucy's case, um, we'll even fill in the corners to turn up the lips. Okay, and let's talk about what type of products that you're using nowadays when it comes to injectables and how long are they lasting on the lips? So one of the big products that we like to use is Restylane and Silk. It's such a great, soft, natural um, filler. And other products that we use are Juvederm, and it just depends on how full the individual ah. wants to be. So do both products offer a different fullness as such? Well, there's different levels of products. So Silk is a good subtle volume, natural looking, and then there's a regular Restylane product that gives more volume, more voluptuous lips. Okay, well, I'm just looking at yours thinking, they're beautiful lips, but also it has a lot to do with the lipstick as well yes. because no longer do you have to just put on a lip liner. Right. We can get rid of those, maybe you're an ex-smoker. We can turn up the corners Absolutely. of the mouth as well. Absolutely. So Silk is a great product to go in if she had the smoker's lines. You don't even have to be a former smoker yeah. to have those lines. It's a great product to go up in those fine lines to take care of those too. How long does filler last in the lip now? A Restyl and Silk is going to last about six months. Some of the other products may last up to nine months. Oh, wow, that's great. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, we appreciate you coming in and being our model as well. If you want to find out more about the Wells sh um, Holiday Shopping Day, all the information's up on the screen now. Come on over between 9 and 6, 20% off all products and 20% yes. off all services. And the lip filler is $399 today, regularly 600 And we call that... The perfect pout. Back to you in the office, girls.